Welcome back to the Big Country YouTube channel, and you can tell today I'm a little more hyped up than normal because we're getting ready to go to the track with our GSXR. All right, this thing came in, it was wrecked when we got it straight from the auction, and now it is finally time to take it to the track and let this puppy perform. Oh yeah, I'm so excited. We are headed to the track. country fashion this thing has a little bit of maintenance that we need to do before we go to the track all right so we're here a little bit early before time to go because we were up here working on that darn honda all day yesterday so before we run to the track we got some stuff we got to do so this bike only has 400 miles on it okay you know what that means it still has the engine braking oil in it so we got to do an oil change today. We're going to drop the oil and replace it with our Suzuki 10W40, our OEM oil filter. And then we're going to do our little mod where we cut this off. That's going to save us an oil pan if we were to hit that. So we're going to go ahead and nibble that off there while we're doing it and replace it with a flat drain plug. And that'll just give us a little bit more clearance on that. All right. And then... We had the switch was broken on this when we got it, and we did not know it because it's not physically broken, but the down button did not work, okay? So when I went out to ride it, it wouldn't work to enable the quick shifter on it. All right, so we got to replace that, but to replace that, we have to pull the air box and stuff to get to the wiring. So we said, hey, g-force race engines why don't we go ahead and do a key switch delete a billet triple tree from g-force and our woodcraft key switch delete sorry i was trying to read that but it was upside down woodcraft key switch delete for the gsxr 1000 i do have discount codes for both those parts so once we get to the point where we're installing those I'm going to throw that discount code so that you too can go. This is going to make this look so much cleaner, so much nicer. You got all this stuff up in the way up in here. We're going to have this nice billet triple tree. And then, of course, we're not going to have that big ugly key switch anymore. Cool little mod. Saves you a couple pounds of weight. I mean, it's country style. I don't have keys on none of them. I love the key switch delete. But we got to hurry up and get this going because... We gotta get you to track. Right, just like that, we got a refilled with oil. And check it out on the bottom, see? We cut that little thing off. We put us a flat drain plug in there and that gives us a lot more clearance. You can see now our exhaust is actually gonna touch before the oil pan does, which is always what you want. That thing hanging down there like that catches something, boom, it breaks the oil pan up in here. Definitely don't want that. That would be the end of our engine with our brand new motorcycle. So. Cool little tip right there. Cut that thing off. Get that out of your way if you're going to be running your bike low like this. Um, we got our full of oil, so all we got to do now is fire it up. We did, of course, replace the filter. And then we're going to lower it back down, and we're going to get this other stuff put on there. Listen to that little puppy fur and completely stock engine, stock exhaust. We just want to let it run for a minute and we'll recheck our oil level and we'll be done with that. got 
got our factory triple tree off there. Look at this big old gaudy key switch. That's where you're really going to lose all the weight. But look, I mean, this casted aluminum, man, it just don't look cool whenever you look at it beside this G-Force Racing Billet triple tree. All right. Plus, we're rid of that big stupid key switch. So, the real test. Stock triple tree. One pound, 15.9 ounces. <laughs> that sucker's heavy, dude. Get out of here. Ain't no good. Billet G-Force chip tree. 15 ounces. So not only are we going to look like badasses riding around with this billet chip tree, we're one pound lighter. Yes! Let's see there, it blew the tire off right there. Trying to maybe not be quite so aggressive. block to the racetrack Woo! let's go pretty good pass there at least for our first pass anyways what do you think it got went guys we'll of course have to go back we'll watch the video we'll make adjustments with our suspension and stuff but first pass I mean, we went down through there, no hiccups. Out ran us a Busa. $5.95 guys, right off the trailer. In the fives, right off the rip. Not too bad, only 122 miles an hour. 157 60 foot so we'll fix all of that not gonna lie I was a little concerned there leaving after we blew the tire off on that dry hop so we was a little soft on the leave which showed up in our 60 foot Get this, 
we're about to go faster because I only had a 157 60 foot. It spun the tire when I did the dry hop, okay? So I backed it down a little bit. So I backed down the power a little bit on my launch and the launch was just way too soft. So we're gonna try and take that 157 and try and turn that into about a 47 and then we're going low 580s hopefully on this next pass. Snatchy on our leave there. Just trying to just tear up out of there. I think now we got we got figured out what we need to figure out. Let's see what we went. What do you guys think we went that time? Can we go faster? Oh yeah, 584. I told y'all I wanted to go that 147, 60 foot. Went a 146. So dead on what we wanted to do there. 84. You think we can go 570s with this auction bus? Right, so I mean, I pretty much did exactly what I told y'all I was gonna do. 146, 60 foot, 584. Now our next step is to go 70s, but. We're running into a slight issue, you see. So when this motorcycle was wrecked, the catalytic converter evidently was completely filled with oil. Um, so on the dyno, if you go back to the other videos when we dynoed this bike, the catalytic converter was actually heating up cherry red on this thing. So more than likely, our catalytic converter is no good, which means that we got to get us an aftermarket exhaust system. So how we're noticing this is becoming an issue is so far, the first pass, 122 miles an hour which sucks and then our second pass only 120 miles an hour which sucks even more so if we go even slower this next pass on our mile an hour not good guys um so the factory catalytic converter on those things is known to basically they burn up they get too hot whenever you unrestrict the bikes so for all you guys that's got slip on exhaust yeah, okay, I hear you're trying to save some money, but man, the factory header on the Suzuki, as much as I hate to say it, it ain't what you want. You really got to get a set of headers on them. Brock's Performance, use code Big Country 5 get you a discount. Country, use code I'm More gonna Mafia use, 5. I'm going to use More Mafia 5. You get 5% off, dude. Heck yeah. But anyways, guys, in a nutshell, we're going to try and go 570s next pass. If we don't go faster than that, bad news. It's pretty much all we're going to be able to do today until we get our exhaust pipes on there.
Chase. That was literally an identical pass on the GSX-R. 146, 60 foot again, and another 584. I tried to get a little more aggressive, and I think with the clutch I was a little too aggressive. So we're gonna change a few things, get some, some pointers from Chris, and see if we can knock this thing in the 70s before we leave. Hey, you got an exhaust on? He can cut your catalytic converter off, dude. Dude, I know, my exhaust pipe is no good. Yeah. So we're wrapping this one up. The GSX R1000, what do you think about it? Straight from the auction yard, salvage, crash bike, more mafia, ECU flash, and a swing arm from DME. Hey, I told Chris I was gonna get some pointers from him. He said, best pointer I can give you is just let me ride the damn thing. He goes out here, first pass off the trailer, 574. Are you kidding me with a stock motorcycle? 574. And the track was a, had a, it was banana peels out there, country, because I hit all of them. Did the old spin a rooski on there? You didn't get to see the pass. I didn't get to see the pass. We got the footage. You guys seen it. Spun the tires. Still won a 574 with stock sauce pop. And hit two banana peels. Insane. This thing is impressive as well. Let me know. What do you think? How fast is it going to go when we get our exhaust system on there? That is going to open us up, get us a ton more horsepower. We got weight to take off this thing. We got so much stuff to do with this GSX-R to speed it up. I know for a fact we're going to go way faster than that right there. But until next time, guys, be sure to go check out my merch, bigcountry.shop. Check out the discount codes. That's free savings for my subscribers. You can go on my website. You can get Brock's Performance Parts discounts, the More Mafia ECU Flash, all the parts you see on these bikes that I'm producing, you can get discount codes on them. And that is my gift to y'all. But until next time, y'all be sure to keep it country.